Hey guys, thanks for your interest in ErgoHack, and today I'll be showing you how to use a uh, mobile wallet on your phone with all of the added security benefits that you get from running a local node on your computer. Uh, so usually when you're using the mobile wallet, if you have it set to the default settings, it is reliant on an instance of a node that somebody else is running. Uh, so there's some centralized dependency there that uh, with today's video, you'll be able to get rid of that dependency and run that infrastructure yourself. It's very easy to do and you'll only need a few things to do it. So first of all, you'll need uh, a full node a mobile wallet, those two are obvious. And then on your internet router, you'll just have to set up port forwarding um, and we'll go through that together. So for a full node, I like to use Satergo. Um, you can find it at satergo.com and we can link that in the description below. And then for the mobile wallet, uh, just head over to the main er regular Ergo website and then you can go to get Erg, scroll down, and you can go to the Ergo wallet link here. You can find it on the Google Play Store or on the Apple Store as Terminus. And um, yeah, that's, that's really all you need to get started. So now, uh, I'm gonna hide this one for now too. Uh, really, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go through the process of setting up Satergo. Um, it needs a while to sync. Mine is already fully synced and it's just kind of hanging out, doing its thing. Uh, and I should note that the, the instance of the node that you're running doesn't need to have your wallet in it it's kind of just acting as uh, like a client that the the mobile wallet will be using to interface with the blockchain. Um, so if you wanted to have your main wallet in Satergo as well, you could do that. Right now I've just got it as like a, a demo node. So it's syncing and it's just doing node things. <laughs> uh, and then up here I've got um, an Android emulator called Bluestacks installed. And I've got my mobile wallet set up here. I've already done a few test transactions, so I know it's working. Um, yeah, so let's begin. Um, the first thing that you will need to do is in your mobile wallet, you're going to go to settings and then you're going to scroll down here to expert settings, node and API connections. Uh, and in here you can see all of the URLs that your mobile wallet is using for node connections and explorer URLs and all that. Um, so I've already set mine up. So this is my local node, as you can see here, um, the URL for my local node. So when I make a transaction using my mobile wallet, uh, it'll, it'll be sending that and receiving that through my full node. Um, so there's a few things that we have to do. First of all, we're going to um, come back into our browser. Every internet router will have a different sort of steps that you'll, you'll have to go through to uh, enable port forwarding, but there's a, there's a good website called, um, it's called port forward.com. And, uh, you can go to router guides here. You can go find your brand. Mine is a neck gear. Close that. And it has a list of all the different net gear models. So mine's a Nighthawk and I use one of their, their guides here. 
it goes through the whole process of setting up port forwarding. Every router is different. So I, I will show you basically what I had to do and the general idea of what you'll have to do, but it's going to be different for everybody depending on your router. So for me, I had to go to routerlogin.net, log in with my router admin username and password, and that loads the router dashboard here. Uh, then I came into advanced tab, and then on the sidebar here, I go to advanced setup port forwarding. Actually, I've lost my uh, login, so bear with me here. Okay, great. So you can see I've already set my service up um, to do this. I just had to add a custom service and I just named it Ergo Node. And the external port range is pretty important. Um, so for Ergo, node you'll need uh you'll want 9030 what we're doing today doesn't use that the really important one is 9053 um and that'll just basically uh port forwarding it's like opening a door on your router to allow in and out connections and for the node 9053 is the port that we need uh 9030 i believe is for p2p uh, so i include it but it's not really important. Um, yep, and then for your device that the node is running on, you just select that. You can see the IP address of it. Um, and then you would apply. Again, I've already set mine up, so don't need to do that. But mine is good to go. Uh, so the next thing you'll want to do is find your public facing IP address. So, uh, my IP address, my internal local IP address is here, but we need a public IP address so that our, our mobile wallet knows where to look. And for that, there's all sorts of websites that you can do this. Um, you know, just, just Google or search for, uh, my IP address. Uh, I'm using IP location.o and it shows me my IP address. So that's all good. We will copy and paste that. And then in our, uh, mobile wallet here, we go back into our settings scroll down and you can see you know i've already pasted that in here but that is my ip address and now uh, the most important part is after your ip address you need a colon and then 9053 for the port that we opened up just a bit ago and then you hit apply and that's pretty much it now your mobile wallet is working with your uh, local node. So just to show that it's working, um, let me send a transaction here. I'll grab a address real quick. We'll, we'll just do uh, 0 0.001 erg. Oh, that's purpose. Zero point zero zero. Oops. Hmm. Zero point zero zero one. Ah, that's the lowest I can do. Zero point zero one. Okay. Oh, it's because it's in USD values. I see. That's interesting. Well, anyway, um, confirm, that's what I want to do. Enter your password. Mine is just a test wallet. 
and it worked. So that's great. Uh, very easy to do. The transaction has been submitted. We can wait for it to be pending. Might take a minute here. Unconfirmed. Uh, if we wanted to, we could wait for it to confirm, but I, I'm certain it will execute and it'll be good. So, um, yeah, the, the biggest challenge or thing, o hurdle to get over during this whole process is the port forwarding of your router. Um, but it's pretty easy and I hope this helped you to better understand how to, uh, have the benefits of full node local uh, infrastructure um, running the node locally. It's better security and less centralized dependence. While also having the flexibility of your mobile wallet while you're out and about. Um, even when you're on, you know, 5G or you don't have to be on Wi-Fi locally to do this. So yeah, cheers guys. Um, enjoy the Ergo hack and I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks. Thanks.